Greetings, friends. It's Pat Hand back with another episode of Let's Talk Travel. And we are so glad that you have taken a few minutes to join us this evening. I think you will find it well worth your while. The entire month of January, we are featuring Destination Alaska. Uh, it is awesome. And we're pretty much covering it from every perspective during the course of the month. So you don't want to miss a single episode. Uh, I'm delighted that you've joined us. And I am very excited to welcome this evening our special guest, uh, Javier Yutaka. And uh, Javier, uh, you are filling some big shoes at Holland America with your predecessor, Ashley, uh, has moved along to other things. And what is your title now? So uh, thank you, Pat, for having me. Uh, my title with All America is Strategi Strategic Account Manager uh, with All America. So um, it's going to be March since I've joined the organization, but um, just under 19 years since I've been in the industry. So I've been with a couple of other cruise brands out there in my uh, in my tenure. <laughs> wow, very good. You would you like to just tell us a little a little bit about yourself and sure. your history? So, uh, Sure. So a Peruvian American. Um, I was born in Peru, but uh, we immigrated over to Miami in the early 80s. And I grew up in uh, South Florida. Um, after graduating from college, I found uh, 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 a cruise line, which I thought was going to be a temporary gig. Uh, I graduated with a communications degree and uh, um, you know, it was going to be like my my uh, my hold me over. So found Carnival Cruise Line in 2003 and uh, joined them in their call center, moved around internally. And as, as I was doing my research with about the company, the industry, um, you know, they are the largest uh, cruise player in the industry with all of their cruise brands under them, Hall America being one of them. I was with Carnival through 2017 and then joined another uh, cruise line, uh, Viking, uh, from 2017 till uh, 2020 then. Obviously, the world um, paused for for COVID, and I was impacted with their with their restructure. And then um, it was actually perfect timing because we had a a daughter during the COVID period. So our daughter was born May first, and instead of a three week uh, maternity leave, turned into an eight month maternity leave. Mm -hmm. And um, in March of last year, I joined Holland America. So um, yeah, super happy to be here. I've known Ashley for years, being in the industry and and a lot of other uh, fellow colleagues as well. So um, it's been a fun ride and, and looking forward to uh, to the future. Well, we are delighted to have you uh, as part of the Holland America family now. And uh, as Ashley knows very well, uh, and I am, I'm not just saying this, but Holland America really is my personal favorite. When I, when I cruise, if I could say, uh, you know, it's my job to go on all the different cruise lines. I, you know, but but uh, given my choice, I love Holland America above all the other brands. It just feels like home to me. I uh, love the food, the ambience, the the mid sized ships, the whole thing. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, and, and I so missed cruising when things were were shut down. I mean. Uh, I was so excited to see ships beginning to sail again last summer. Yes. Uh, can, can you tell us, I know Holland America is having some incredible ships up there in Alaska next summer. Can you kind of give us an overview of, of what ships are going to be sailing and, and where from next this coming summer? Sure. So our season for the 22 Alaska season is going to start in May of uh, this year. And we are coming in um, hot and heavy with uh, six ships up in um, uh, sailing Alaska, whether it's a uh, round trip Seattle, round trip Vancouver, um, or one way from Vancouver to Fairbanks or um, uh, Whittier down to Vancouver. Obviously we'll do our our um, our cruise tour as well. So whether it's Denali National Park uh, with the cruise or with the Yukon, um, but like the six ships, oh man, you're gonna quiz me here. So it's uh, Eurodam, uh, Wester Dam, the uh, New Amsterdam, um, Zyder Dam, Konings Dam, a lot of these dam ships. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and, and it's a real mixture. You have some, some of your newest ships in the fleet and, and some of your smaller, yes. uh, older vessels. And 
you, you know, I'm going to say, Javier, I know everybody wants to get out on the new ships. Everybody is excited. Me too. I mean, I get it. I can't wait to inspect when you guys have a new ship out. I can't wait to get in a chance to inspect it. Hopefully that's going to happen uh, again sure. once we get past this pandemic to where we can actually do that. But I have a real, I've really developed an appreciation for those smaller, those older ships in the fleets. They're, they're so well maintained and they just feel so welcoming. I love them. Yeah. That, I mean, that's really part of the whole variety with Hall in America, right? So, um, you know, the ships are your home away from home. So we're not crowded. It's, it's midsize. Our most intimate size ship is 1400 passengers and our largest is 2600 passengers, right? So it's, um, you know, a lot of new to brand, a lot of first time cruisers, when they're thinking of cruising, they immediately think of these massive cities on the water and, um, you know, packed to the brim and, and everything else. And obviously, I think we've become a little bit uh, accustomed to social distance within the last uh, year and a half, almost two years now. <laughs> so, uh, you know, with Holland America, with our ships, we are designed for that extra space ratio that you'll find. And it's not... Um, um, super crowded. And, and for Alaska with us, I mean, we have some key distinctions. We have more permits over to um, uh, uh, to the glacier access to, oh gosh, why am I going blank on the uh, Glacier Bay National Park oh, area? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Um, we also dock into um, uh, uh, premier docking locations in Alaska, which is right in the downtown areas in certain ports, while others are are pointing a little bit further out. So we help try to minimize that whole um, um, social distancing and the crowdedness. But with, with Hal, it's, we're not definitely not a um, uh, in the game of what they say, butts in bed, right? It's quality over quantity. <laughs> and, and I love that. It's just, it's, it's just such a nice feeling, you know, the traditional experience, uh, uh, definitely that premium feel and, and yeah. so forth. Yeah, uh, elevated service, absolutely. I mean, you've been, uh, you've worked hard for your vacation dollars, and you want that extra pampering, that extra service, the the staff and crew remembering your names, knowing what your likes and dislikes. So it's it's that up that that up above touch of service that that Hall America is so well known for. I love that. Uh, what, how is the demand for Alaska shaping up for 2022? Co complete transparency right now, Pat. So it is uh, January of 22 right now. Our first uh, ship is going to be uh, sailing in May in Alaska. We're, we're a little soft, um, specifically for the round trip Seattle, round trip Vancouver. So if you are um, looking for value or looking to, to splurge on the suites and the higher balconies, those are great outlets where you're going to have an abundance of, um, of, of options where we are coming in tight um, ahead of, of 2019 capacity are the, uh, the one ways from Whittier down to Vancouver or Vancouver up to uh, Anchorage or Whittier. Um, the cruise tours are filling up nicely. So you, know, you may see a little bit of, of pricing increase here and there, but um, you have a little bit of, of best of both worlds. Um, there for guests. So if you are planning for Alaska 22, this is probably the best year uh, to plan for Holland America. I love that. And, and Javier, I have a, a little video clip here that I want to want to play here just as we're getting out of the gate with this. Hang on sure. just a second. Oh, you did so great there, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love that clip. I snagged it. I saw saw you guys had that one up there, and I thought, oh, this is a perfect little intro clip for us. It just, it, you know, uh, I mean, you see that, and you just, I mean, you want you just want to go home and pack your bags, don't you? Right, right. And and the call to action on that too with our um, our ultimate upgrade event that's running right now through February twenty eighth. I don't know if you're gonna 
you yeah, we're going to we're going to touch on special yeah. promotions. So we, we definitely want to want to bring that on because uh, uh, I, I agree that this is one of the best times to snag a great yeah. deal for, for your Alaska trip. Um, now, one of the things that that I always advise clients and you said they're booking very well is is that land experience that yes. bucket list Alaska cruise really deserves to have and, and I like the you know the people that think different ways but I really like to do the the tour uh, pre-cruise and then do the southbound uh, uh, for, for most of our clients because the, the cruise is more relaxing. You've got a lot of early mornings and things. So, so a little, you're, you're, you know, you're up early and, and, and more on, on a schedule with the tour. So I love to do that. Uh, but I think Hal actually has uh, the, the best cruise tours in the industry. And, and that video clip kind of shows it. Why, why, why is it, do you think, uh, love to have your input. Why should cruisers plan to to uh, add that extra few days and and add the land tour? Sure, no, I, I get this question all the time uh, from from new to new to cruisers and you know those who've never experienced Alaska. It's like, when's the best time to go to Alaska? Right, early in the season, middle of the season, or at the end of the season? Um, the answer is always the same. It's whenever you can take the most amount of time to experience Alaska. Cruise is just one portion, but the land is the other part. So going to Denali, combining that with the Yukon area, when you combine land and cruise, that is where you'll get the true Alaska experience. And for Holland America, we've been taking guests to Alaska for over 70 years. Actually, this is our 75th year. Uh, visiting the great state of Alaska. So uh, we have more experience uh, time uh, there than any other cruise brand. Behind me that you can see in this image is our McKinley Chalet Resort. Uh, this is over um, 600 acres for our guests to enjoy while they're up in Denali National Park. You could do one night up to um, uh, three nights up here. Um, highly recommend to do the Denali portion and also the Yukon as well and with cruise and the secret sauce with our cruise portions that you have even more options. So a lot of guests, they don't realize, you know what? I'm not much of a cruise person. I just want a little bit of a taste. You could do heavier land, seven days uh, land between Denali and Yukon. And then you could do four up to three days on cruise going into Glacier Bay National Park and catching a port or two. So you have that flexibility. Connecting with a travel advisor like yourself, Pat, and your team, um, you can really connect the dots, answer the questions to see what the guest is really looking for. Exactly. And that that is a key part always is matching uh, the experience to the client's expectations. I love, it, you know, I kind of think just because you've been to Alaska once, if you didn't get that cruise tour yeah. experience, uh, go. it's great to go in. I, I love your D, I think this is the D1L uh, uh, cruise itinerary uh, that, that uh, I think this one is fabulous for first timers who haven't been before. Yes, yep, agreed, agreed. You've got the, uh, the cruise, you've got the uh, Denali, um, in here, so the air from Anchorage to Fairbanks, uh, the deluxe motor coach that we'll have, and then um, uh, the train to the McKinley Explorer. So, yeah, love it, love it, love it, love it. This is a great, and, great option. And this this includes so many experiences that that just make it un unforgettable. I know because I've done this, and and uh, the riverboat discovery, uh, the, right. the, the the tundra wilderness tour that takes you deep into Denali uh, and of course oh, we've got to say the rail that that Denali wilderness explorer glass domed you folks you talk about that for your rest of your life you just don't forget it yeah and and those are uh, it's what life or travel is all about T ex taking home those new memories and and uh, gaining those new experiences, right? So exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and you know, if you've been to Alaska, if you've already been there and done that, or you think you have, I love to do this 
kind of as or, or you have you have a couple of similar itineraries but this has the longer land the like longer you were land. talking about yep. um and, and this brings you one of my favorite parts of, of this trip because we did this uh is the fact that you come down uh into uh in, into skagway after you at the end of your tour you come down the mountain on the white rail pass railroad so you yes. get you get the rail going up to to fairbanks and, and you do the glass dome trip then you do this rail so rail lovers this is a great one for you but but this the scenery on this white rail pass is unforgettable yeah it's yeah. just stunning. I loved, love, love that. And this would is a, I think, a great option if you've already been to Alaska, uh, but you didn't do a tour. This right. is a great option for that. And and uh, I, I just I can't say enough about these itineraries. Uh, do you have a personal favorite, Javier? Uh, so, in full transparency, the first time I went to Alaska was this past September on Holland America. So we just did cruise only. Um, and my wow moment was when we were approaching um, uh, or sailing inside Glacier Bay and uh, Marjorie Glacier seeing it for the for the very first time. You know, it's, it's funny. In the, early in the morning, you start seeing, um, you know, pieces of, of ice right out there. And as you get closer into, yes, into Marjorie Glacier right there, um, you'll see the entire uh, uh, waterway just covered with pieces of ice. And it's so much that you could hear it crackling um, as you're sailing through uh, Glacier Bay and, Mar and Marjorie Glacier. And then like, it still gives me goosebumps today is going to the bow of the ship and hearing the park ranger um, uh, giving some fun facts about the glacier and about the area and about the local tribe Indians all in the Glacier Bay area. And when you do that spin around and um, enjoying that Dutch pea soup to keep you warm, you're like, pinch me. It's a great day to be alive right now. <laughs> it, it is. It, it's just amazing. And folks, for, for those of you who maybe haven't been, uh, the ship moves into Glacier Bay. It's so moving so slowly, you can barely discern the movement, except when you're standing there and watching the, the. It's really you moving. It's not the land, and and it takes you in there, and it just comes to a halt in there up there near the glaciers, yep. and it does a 360 degree turn. So exactly. no matter where you are, you're going to see it all, and and it's it's just it's it's incredible. Uh, yes. it's, it's cold. You do want to have your 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 jacket and your mittens on. <laughs> layer, you layer, right? Yeah. You never know what the weather's going to be like. Um, exactly. But but it was um, also interesting to see with our the amount of permits that we have. We have more than um, than the majority of, of the other brands in the industry that we were closer in to the bay versus another brand that was behind us that was further um out and couldn't get it get in as close as uh as we did so you know just some key distinctions right so um in the wildlife that's the other surprise and this is the reason why you want a balcony or a suite um, when you're having your morning cup of joe sitting out there and you'll find a pod of whales or some um, orcas or some um, seals floating by or see some bears um, um, on the uh, on the islands and um, it's it's amazing right <laughs> it, it really is it it really folks and this is why you want to book a balcony people say oh I won't be out on a balcony it's going to be too cold but let's just say it's early in the morning and they have they have the ranger aboard the the uh, uh doing a narration about what's going on you're not yet up on deck and right. and they announce that there's a pod of whales yes a and there you are in your pajamas and in your ocean view stateroom which you, which you can't see really out of uh or or an interior closet or, i mean stateroom and and you, you can't you know you can't you, you know and, and there you are. You're you're missing the whole thing. You really yeah. want to have that balcony because you don't want to miss a single thing while you're there. Uh, 
Javier, I have another video clip here. Sure. I want to. I think this would be a good time to plug this one in too. Hang on just a second. Here it comes, folks. There's something cleansing about being in nature, being in a place that is on such a massive scale. There's a reset button. Alaska has a rich history. People came here from all over the world. That sense of adventure, not knowing really what they were going to find. My favorite part is seeing it through the guest eyes, watching them just light up. It gets you excited again. It makes you realize, oh, hey, this is why I'm doing this. It's our modern day gold rush. Being with Holland America Lion creates this connection with my guest. They really are experts in travel. You feel like you're a part of Alaska. It's just a different feeling here than anywhere else. By land. By sea. By experts. We are Alaska. Oh, Javier, that brings back so many memories. Yes. Uh, because so many of those experiences I actually, I had those experiences during our tour, our cruise, and, and I saw those things. I experienced them, and folks, uh, it just lives on. You don't ever forget about it. Nope. Uh, and that is what is so special about travel. Uh, it is, it just, it, it, it enriches your life, and it gives you memories that, that just stay with you forever. Um, and, and Alaska always comes in on the top of my bucket list trips that I've done it you know uh it right up there with with some of the others that I've done but Alaska's always in the top three or four that I I have done I just can't say enough about Alaska and doing it by Holland America uh you, you touched on this Javier what about uh promotions and special offers our clients can take advantage of right now Perfect, Pat. So right now we are running our uh, ultimate upgrade event. Uh, it's running through February 28th, but there are um, different what we're going to call kickers uh, that we're running through uh, through the 28th. So it's our have it all promotion um, where we're including uh, specialty dining, $100 shore excursion per person, um, beverage package, and also specialty dining, um, you know, based on the length of the voyage, it could be additional shore excursions. It could be additional specialty dining um, for you. On top of that, we are also for this event, we are offering a special upgrade. If you book a ocean view, we'll upgrade you to a balcony. And if you're booking an inside, we'll upgrade you to an ocean view. So uh, this isn't just a category upgrade like balcony to balcony. This is... Wow. Yep, exactly. Exactly. It's, it, it's a rare upgrade. Yeah, you do not see that very often. Frequently see the, the balcony to, to another category, one or two higher, which right. basically is the same room, just a different location on the ship, folks. But this is, this, I mean, that's major. Yes, that it is, is. Major. It is, it is. So it's, it makes the, that balcony experience just even easier for guests to enjoy, right? Um, right. Right. On, top of, on top of that, specifically for Alaska, um, through January 20th, we are including what we call crew appreciation that was formerly gratuities. Um, so we are including that for guests one and two. Um, on top of that, you know, Alaska is a great multi-gen family experience. So whether it's a grandparent taking the children, taking their grandchildren on, uh, but we are also offering third and fourth passengers $75 to correlate our 75th anniversary uh, into Alaska. So um, you'll get the gratuities, third and fourth at $75, the upgrades plus the beverage package, everything that I mentioned. Um, on top of that, <laughs> but wait, there's more. Wow. <laughs> uh, we are also including um, uh, up to $200 shipboard credit per stateroom. Um, as well. So that, that shipboard credit, you can apply towards um, spa, shore excursions, casino, photo, um, bar, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you, you have pretty good flexibility with that. Wow. That is, that is 
I mean, that's great. Folks, it's all date dependent. So depending on yes. what you book, it's going to be which promotions will be able to apply. But just to sweeten the deal, uh, book through us and mention that you saw this Facebook uh, broadcast. And at the time of final payment, we'll send you one of our Dancing Moon Travel tote bags and a pair of highly rated compact binoculars uh, so you don't miss a single thing when you're there in Glacier Bay or on that tour. Uh, it will all be included. So any Holland America booking of seven nights or more uh, that you make uh, by the, let's say, I'm going to run this all the way through the end of February. As long as you've seen this, this uh, broadcast, you just let us know and we will add that to it. Uh, Javier, just, just real quick. Uh, what, what would you say other than, than the great itineraries and the small ship, anything else that, that you think really sets Hal apart? Yeah. So what really caught me surprised with Holland America, you know, since being in the industry for so long for almost 20 years and, um, you know, there's always a preconceived, um, conception to the brand prior to, to myself joining. What really surprised me was the amazing culinary experience on board from the dining room to all the specialty restaurants from their partnership with food and wine magazine. I was like, wow, this is on Holland America. <laughs> um, I was heavily impressed. All the cooking demonstration options, the, um, uh, the wine tastings on board, it would just, you know, it, it correlates, it, it runs together with that elevated experience, right? So you're like, going, exploring, touring, and coming back into this haven on board and being pampered. And then on top of that, you know, I'm still in my 40s. I enjoy um, after dinner to, you know, some dancing, listening to music. But I was blown away with that B.B. King's um, uh, Blues Club with the live music there. So a lot of uh, opportunities to get up and dance, um, uh, sing along with Billboard on board. Uh, with the dueling pianos there, um, you know, the, the comedy on board, um, just all the variety of entertainment that we have. Um, and then the enrichment programs with, um, um, you know, obviously since Alaska, you're going to have um, some of the shows dedicated onto uh, the Alaska heritage, the native heritage there. So it really all ties in together, right? So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holland America is a great, great choice. If you're a foodie, if you enjoy great cuisine, uh, and, and this is in the regular dining room without having to, to uh, you, you know, some some of the, the mainline cruises have, you know, if you splurge for one of their steakhouses and things, food is, is outstanding, but it's outstanding in the dining room on Holland America. And, and you can still choose one of the specialty restaurants, but you don't have to, to eat well. Sure. Holland America. That's one of the reasons I think I love it so much. And and there, I actually, there's a couple of meals that were memorable that I still, you know, can, can think back to when when I was aboard one of your ships. So, uh, the food is really really good, folks. So, uh, Javier, thank you so so much for joining us this evening. And and I I know that you've given our audience a good bit to think about. Uh, and, and listeners, I hope you found your time well spent. I have a little giveaway tonight for our live listeners. You've got to be on live. This is a Murano glass wine stopper. It's beautiful. You can't see it as well here, but it's, it's a lovely, it's got the gift box here. So it would be a, a great choice uh, for to have for a little gift if, if uh uh, you're not a wine drinker yourself. I bet you know someone who would like to have that. So if you just enter Holland America in the comments, if you're watching live, you will be entered in our drawing this evening and somebody's going to win that lovely wine stopper. Um, and don't forget that we'd love to help you with booking that Holland America getaway. So uh, just join us, uh, contact us, reach out to me. It's very easy to get us here. And uh, we would love to ha help you with making uh, uh, your Holland America trip a reality. I'm Pat Hand at Dancing Moon ha uh, Travel. And Javier, thank you again for thank your you, time Pat. here with us. Lo love the chance to, to talk about Alaska. 
Likewise. Thank you, Pat. Happy New Year, all. Okay. Bye, everybody.